What's up guys, Moonlight150 here with your battle for today, and some of you older subscribers of mine will recognize a little something. I'm gonna do something I did a little back a while ago in my 300 to 400 subscriber range. I'm gonna drink a soda during at the beginning of each battle and see how long I can go with the battle with my soda. So let me just open this. Alright. Take a quick drink. Ah, alright, so like I said, this is an OU battle against a man I've known for a little quite a while. His name is Cloud Sato. This was around the time uh Tears changed and some Pokemon abilities got released, so I'm like, okay, well, if Pounder doesn't have Sandstream anymore, I'm gonna make one. I'm gonna make a defensive set with Stealth Rocks and Roar. So that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing here. I'm gonna set up the rocks, he's gonna set up a sword stance, he goes for the bullet punch. It doesn't really do a whole heck of a lot. And I just roar him out into his Alakazam, so now we're caught up in the battle. Anyway, so it's a Peloton versus Alakazam. He's gonna go for the Psy Shock. He interestingly enough carries the Psy Shock over the Psy Kick, which is not gonna come in handy in this particular situation against a Peloton since a Peloton's defense is actually greater than its special defense. So, not the best of situations right now, but it does come in handy a little bit later on in the battle. Spoiler alert. Anyway, so I go for the Slack Off and I'm gonna recover a little bit more with my leftovers. He's gonna go for another Psy Shock. Yeah, Psy Shock. Psy Shock. Uh, it sounds like an attack from some other game. Sai Shiak! But anyway, I'm gonna live it just barely and in getting into the yellow bit of health zone. I'm gonna go for the Earthquake, and yeah. I would love to know how much a Psychic would actually be doing in my hit pout on since I know its special defense is weaker. Anyway, so Alakazam is actually taken out by one Earthquake. That is kind of surprising me since I have no attack invested in my hip out on, but I guess that shows how low of defense Alakazam has. But anyway, he goes into his Latios. He's gonna go for the Ice Beam. I thought I could maybe take one Ice Beam. And go for the roar. I think I went for the roar here to switch it out, or maybe I went for a slack off to recover more health. But you know, I don't live the ice beam. I'm gonna go into my own Alakazam. Obviously, gonna go for the Shadow Ball. He's gonna switch out. So I'm hoping, okay, whatever he switches into, excuse me, uh, uh, that whatever he switches into, I hope I get the special defense drop because that will actually give me the edge, and I'll show you why. I'm gonna go for the Shadow Ball, and as you can see, after some rocks damage and the little bit that Shadow Ball does, I do get the special defense drop, which is really good in my favor because now he might want to switch because he knows that any move I go for, I will outspeed him, and Psychic will obviously take him out because of the special defense drop. But he does go for the extreme speed and decides to risk it all, hopefully thinking that his his extreme speed will take me out because I have no teammates, but I live with 58 HP, which just kind of blows my mind. That has to be like minimal of minimal damage on that extreme speed. That just I don't understand how I lived with such a nice little chunk, and I will does and I, like I said earlier, I do take him out with the special defense drop, stab, life orb, psychic from my Alakazam. But anyway, he's gonna go do his back into his Lucario to go for another extreme speed, which I know I'm not gonna live because I lived with 58 last time from 251 full HP, and that was also a crit. So, yeah. Anyway, Lucario's gonna be uh, gonna go against my Scar, my Lund uh, Lundurus. It's not Lundurus, it's Landorus. Uh, Theory and Form is gonna go for. An extreme speed after the Intimidate, so this is not going to do anything. It's a normal type move, it's not stab, it's minus one. And that did nothing. It's even Life Orb, too. But I'm going to go for the Bulk Up because I know that he'll either want to switch out or any of his moves, any of his physical moves are not going to be able to touch me that hard. Especially now that I got a plus one defense up. I'm going to go for the Earthquake, and that is going to take him out because he is a Steel type. It's stab, I have plus one. It, it's just not in Lucario's favor. Let's just say that I need a drink. Anyway, he's going to go back into his Latios. And obviously he's going to go to his Ice Beam because times 4 is super effective. Why don't you go for the Ice Beam? That's going to take me out. I thought, you know, maybe I would be able to take one because I, I'm this cool legendary, like, I'm Landris, I'm a beast, I literally am a beast, I'm in beast form, I'm theory form. But, you know, it, it, I had plus defense, no plus special defense. Anyway, I'm going to go into Keldeo. Uh, I'm not sure what he's fearing there. I guess he's maybe fearing the Ice Beam on himself. Going to go into his Registeel to probably take the SP, but now I decide to scare the Ice Beam and go for the Combine, and that's exactly what I do. Because I am an awesome predictor like that. I, I know when I'm scaring people to be able to set up. Anyway, so this is a special attacking set with Secret Sword, uh, Surf, and Ice Beam, but Combine to boost it all up. So I'm going to go for the Stab plus one Secret Sword, which I thought would take out the Registeel, but it's going to live with that little sliver of health. It's not even a focus sash, he's gonna take up the turn to set the rocks, but I don't think really come in play in throughout this game. So, just a little bit of a heads up spoiler, uh, Keldeo's actually gonna do a l decent amount of work here. Oh, I also have the hidden power. How- wait, no, I don't have the ice beam, I just realized I don't have ice beam at all. I have hidden power fire. I guess Keldeo doesn't learn ice beam? I have to go look at Pokegen after this. 
not Pokegen, but uh, Pokemon Online. But anyway, he's going to bring his Victine, take some heavy rocks damage. And I think he told me in the Skype chat of this battle that he forgot that Keldeo was a water type. So he's going to go for the V-Create. And that's going to do like around half. Three, 324 out of 69. It's like, mm, yeah, I'd say that's around half. So now that his special defense is dropped, I'm at plus one. I'm going for a stab move like Surf. Yeah, this Victini doesn't stand a freaking chance of living. Just has everything against it. I have plus one, I have stab, I have Surf, which is a decent hitting move. He has a special defense drop from V-Create. Yeah, sorry Victini, this, it, my pony's better. Anyway, uh, he's going to recover a little leftovers, and then he's going to go in his Latios, and this is when he reveals to me he's actually Choice Scarf, so he's going to outspeed me, go for the Psy Shock, which in this favor I think matter because I do believe Keldeo has better special defense than defense, but I don't think either way it's it, he wasn't going to live from half health. I just, I'm, I just think that. But anyway, so in this uh, next coming up couple turns, it actually proves that si having Psy Shock over Psy Kick is actually going to come in handy because he's going to outspeed me, go for the Psy Shock, and I do think my special defense has higher on this Thunderous Therian form than defense, so once again, it, and also his major rock damage, so once again, this Thunderous is not going to live. I want to use this guy, but I could never get him. Now, this is where it really comes in handy is against Conkelder, is because I am a special defense invested Conkelder. And he goes for the Psy Shock, which is going to hit my defense, because that's what Psy Shock does. And I probably would have lived this if it was a regular Psychic, and I would have, and I was going to go for the Payback and take him out and won the game. But no, he has Psy Shock, and that won him the game. So, good game, Cloud Saito, and I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you guys Monday. Bye.